Let's walk through adding or editing invoice templates in your JobMail software. From your user menu panel, down the left hand side, scroll down to the bottom, click on settings to open the settings page. Then scroll down to templates, click on templates to view all your existing templates in the software. Use the search bar to filter and find the template or down the left hand side here, you can filter by the type. Clicking on invoice to view our default invoice template. Click on the one that you want to update further to open up the template. Across the top here you've got your working tabs for update, copy or delete. To make some changes to the template click on update. In here you can up update the template name and update the template body itself. You'll notice there's a lot of HTML variables already predefined in here. You can adjust these, add more and you can also add in additional text where required. In this example here, I'm going to show you adding in an additional sentence. You can see here I've put a sentence break with the HTML variables in, in front and behind. When I click on preview, you can see where I've added this new sentence separate to the others. Update or save the changes, click on save and the template's been updated. If you want to make up some more invoice templates, the easiest way to do it is to copy an existing one. Click on copy to copy the invoice template. You can see the name now is invoice to copy. To update this further, click on update where I can name the template as required and also update the template body, adding in extra text or HTML variables. Click on preview to preview those changes. If you're happy to proceed further, click on save changes down the bottom. You can see here my new template has been created. There's the name that's been updated. And if I wish to set this as a default, I can click here, set as a default. Clicking on the back button or templates to go back to your template section. In here, if you want to remove multiple templates at once, simply tick the checkboxes in front of the template names. With selected up here from the drop down tab, you can click on delete. Let's have a look at your invoice email templates. Clicking on the invoice email templates, here's what you currently got set up and also as your default. Click open the one that you wish to update further. You can preview it first. You can then update where you can update the name, the subject field, and also the body of the template. Once again, the body of the template already has HTML variables. And if you wish to add some more text, you can. Click on preview to preview the changes made. Click on save down the bottom. You've got options to continue editing or cancel to disregard those changes. I'm gonna click on save to update the template. You can also copy these invoice email templates as well to make up some more. Click on copy. You can see here now it invoice email to copy where I can update the name. Click on update, rename it. You can also update the subject field and also the body of the template as you require. Once the changes have been made, click on preview. You can now view those changes. If you're happy to proceed further, scroll down to the bottom and you can click on save. Continue editing or cancel to disregard. Click on save, the template has been updated. There's the new name. Clicking on back or templates to go back to the template area. If you wanna create a new one from scratch, click on create, put in the name that you require and then select the type. For this one here, I'm gonna select invoice email and then hit create. Template has been created. Here's how it previews. Clicking on update to make any necessary changes and then preview to review those changes that have been made. Click on save to update the template and then in here, I have the ability to set this as a default. Click on set as default and this becomes your default invoice email template. Clicking on the back button, going back to templates, this shows you how easy it is to add and edit your invoice templates. Are you still requiring further assistance on this topic or any other topic in Jobman software? No problem at all. See here these help article links. Simply click on these at the top of the page and your questions will be answered on this topic or any other topic further in Jobman.